It's day 136 of the project and today's scent of the day is a wallet friendly, versatile designer fragrance from Salvatore Ferragamo. This one is called Aqua Essenziale Blue and to find out everything you need to know about this one, stay tuned to Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to this latest episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 136 of my Fragrance 365 project where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. Today's featured scent is Aqua Essenziale Blue uh, which came out in 2014 and it's not to be confused with the original Aqua Essenziale uh, that came out a year before this one in 2013 uh, and that's, that one also comes in at a slightly lighter blue bottle. There's also a Colonia Flanca from 2015, uh, but this one, in my opinion, is the pick of the three. It's an amber citrusy fougere with a modern twist, and the perfumer behind this one is Alberto Marias. You can pick it up in three sizes, a 30ml, a 60ml and a 100ml bottle size like this one. And I bought this 100ml bottle from the Feel Unique website and it came as part of a, a gift set and it was only £35. So before I continue this review, I'll say straight away right from the off that this is definitely worth picking up and risking as a blind buy at that price. Yes, we're into the presentation, and like I said, I bought this in a gift set, uh, which includes the fragrance as well as a, like a shampoo and shower gel, and also an aftershave balm. The box looks really smart, uh, and I think it'd make for a, a superb gift to buy for someone who's got a birthday coming up, uh, because I think it looks a lot more expensive than the £35 that you pay for it. On the front is the name of the fragrance as well as the house and on, on the back you've got a, a photograph uh, of all the contents that are inside and finally at the bottom we've got some uh, product information, you've got your uh, barcode and then your batch code. Inside the box we've got the products which come uh, packaged really well and I've got to say the, uh, the bottle design on this is absolutely first class and uh, I just love how this one looks and feels. Um, it just feels really well made and uh, just of the highest quality. It's a, a really weighty glass bottle uh, with a gorgeous deep blue uh, gradient that fades up to clear at the top. There's an attractive uh, chrome plate at the bottom uh, that contains the uh, Ferragamo name and then that runs all the way underneath the bottle and then uh, and it runs to the back there where you'll find another uh, Ferragamo logo. There's the name of the fragrance in chrome metallic on the front uh, and then we've got a really weighty chrome effect click on cap uh, that snaps firmly into place so you can feel confident about picking it up from the cap. Uh, but I don't recommend uh, you ever getting into that habit otherwise it's uh, definitely going to end in tears. It sprays out uh, a really nice blast of juice and for the price I think you'd struggle to find a, a better quality presentation than this so it definitely gets uh, a 10 out of 10 uh, in terms of its look and feel. Yeah the top notes in this one are lemon, bergamot and cardamom. In the heart there's lavender, cypriol oil and cedar. And in the base, there's tonka bean, ambroxan, benzoin, and patchouli. So this one opens up bright and crisp with a fresh bite of zesty lemon and bergamot, and also a touch of spiciness from the uh, cardamom. I've got to say that straight away this one has plenty of oomph and it really announces itself. There's also some aquatic touches in there and as it starts out it's very fresh and super uplifting and you get a definite Bleu de Chanel type similarity in the opening. But as it starts to dry down it takes on its own character and I've got to say it's a, it's a fairly different take on the Blue Note. It borrows elements from Bleu de Chanel, uh, Dylan Blue and Aqua de Gio uh, and introduces a, a couple of unique notes of its own and it creates its own lane uh, where it wouldn't be a redundant purchase if you owned any of the others that I've just mentioned. 
Yes, there's your usual ambroxan and benzoin aroma chemicals, which are a little bit synthetic, but the lavender and the cypriol uh, and the cedar in the heart of the fragrance produce a really nice earthiness. Uh, and in my opinion, it's a little bit more grown up and, uh, and, and elegant than your Dylan Blues and your Aqua Dijos. It remains bright and fresh throughout the dry down with a clean and pleasant like shower gel type aroma. Uh, but you also get some of the masculine dense notes in the base that just keep it chugging along nicely. Obviously if you own plenty of blue fragrances you're probably going to be rolling your eyes right now and going oh my god not another one. Um, some people probably won't have even clicked to watch this episode in the first place. Uh, but I think this is a genuine alternative if you uh, want a quality versatile mass appealing fragrance but you just don't want to uh, spend Chanel, Dior or Versace money. Yeah, I'd describe this one as the decathlete of fragrances because it can just about do everything pretty well. It can be worn all year round by anyone of any age, dressed up or casual. You can throw it in a gym bag or even wear it on your wedding day if you like. It's a simple, dumb reach uh, grab and go scent and everywhere you go people are just going to tell you that you smell amazing. But us fragheads, we don't want to do that, do we? We want to be all arty and creative and spend 300 quid on a niche fragrance where 60% of people think we smell like either rotten eggs or a dead rat. Uh, but as long as we can say it's a Clive Christian or a, an Amoage, then that's all that matters. Uh, but seriously, this one is a, a brilliant cheapie. Uh, it will certainly be in my next fragrances on a budget video. Um, and yeah, definitely recommend this one. The performance is surprisingly good for a citrus aquatic. You get a good solid four hours of projection and it sticks around uh, more fairly close to the skin past the eight hour mark. It's one that you'll get constant wafts from throughout the day and it leaves a really nice scent trail so everyone around you is definitely going to notice it and it's definitely going to get you plenty of compliments. This is perfect for the guy who's not a collector and just wants one signature scent that does a bit of everything uh, and doesn't break the bank. It smells really clean and fresh, it has great performance and its presentation is top notch. For 35 quid it's an absolute no brainer and the safest blind buy purchase you're ever going to make. It's not for your fragrance enthusiasts, your collectors or connoisseurs. Uh, this is for your dads, your brothers, your sons and your boyfriends who just want to smell good and in terms of value for money, it's a straight 10 out of 10 from me. Yeah, so once again, that's about it for today's scent of the day. Don't forget, coming up next week, I've got a couple of new releases, uh, possibly two perfume parlor hauls uh, and another cheap but good uh, top 10 rundown. So loads of good stuff to look forward to. As always, guys, if you found this video useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. It's also great to hear your opinions, your thoughts and your critiques on all of the fragrances that feature in this 365 project. So don't forget to keep your comments coming down in the comments section. So once again, thank you very much for tuning into this latest episode. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh. And as always, I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye bye for now. <laughs>